of operation. And I just had a couple things I wanted to share today. This isn't really going to be a tutorial. It's just going to be a share. Um, I have been working on junk journals and things like that. Um, I've done it in the past before, but never to this extent. And so I wanted to kind of just share with you what I've been doing. So what kind of like restarted, I guess, my junk journal um, uh, crafty creation, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> um, was Christina Aubin did a uh, ephemera, ephemera, Christmas ephemera folio tutorial that um, I saw through Country Craft Creations. Uh, and she's a design team member there. And she, she did um, a couple videos um, on how to make one. And so I went ahead and made one. And then this is this one. And then I upsized it to a bigger size. So I just wanted to show you. Um, she calls it an ephemera folder because when you open it up, there are several pockets for um, ephemera to just stick just tons of you know, stuff in here and just have it. And in the middle, she had a junk journal. Well, I had tea dyed my own papers and I had them and I, and, you know, I made them because I saw a video um, on YouTube about how to do it and I wanted to try it. And then I needed to kind of, um, you know, use them. So I went ahead and just did that. And I went through my stash, like none of this I had to buy. I had all of these things and they're a range of seven gypsies and um tim holtz and all kinds of stuff and i just put it you know just put a bunch of stuff in here and um, left the pages blank but then added a few things in the leaves so it's it's just kind of tied together for the binding so you can add and subtract as you like so i did the first one and i thought oh my goodness this is what like way too much fun i added extra pockets here um, using dies that i had um here and then here was a die as well to make the pockets um, to put the tags in. Anyway, um, so I made this one and really, really loved how it turned out. So I decided to upsize it just a little bit and make it bigger. So I made this one. And um, again, it is the same concept. It has um, fold outs and I was able to use like tons bigger, you know, tags for this. And um, I had tea dyed some more papers and then I also had tea dyed some um, tags as well, some other things. So I went ahead and made this book and it's again, just a, a variety of stuff that I had in my stash. And um, these, I kind of did the papers a little bit darker. And then I also on these pages added some rub-ons that I had in my stash on some of the pages. And again, the way the binding is, I was able to slip things in the binding so I can take things out, put things in wherever I want. And um, I've made a really cute uh, junk journal out of this. Um, so this is what started this whole thing all over again. Um, me wanting to create some junk journals and I'm, I'm kind of trying to get into some journaling. Um, so I thought, well, maybe this might help me because there, you know, there's a lot of opportunity there. So I just wanted to um, real quick share with you that, so this is a journal that I made a long, 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 long time ago and I had bound it with, um, you know, those ball chains and it wasn't working very well. So I decided to take those out and I put the ring, uh, the book rings in there, added a charm that I had made like a bazillion years ago that I used on my planner at one point and then took it off. Um, so I just added that to the ring. And then I had these um, seven gypsies book covers that I went ahead and punched and just added those. But you can see this is like the first one I ever made and I just fell in love with it. But it's really basic. I didn't like ink anything. And I literally just grabbed stuff and poked holes in it and put it in here. I mean, I even had like, you know, business envelopes that I turned inside out that I had saved, um, die cuts that didn't quite go the way I wanted them to. I did add, when I changed the rings, I added some tea dyed papers because I really like that. But the rest of this was the way I had done it, um, originally, which is super cute and it used up a lot of scraps and, and it's really fun to make. Um, but this was the first one I ever did. Then, so, you know, just kind of going through this, I mean, you can see it's just a variety of stuff and it's like stickers and, um, the cards that you get in those photo boxes that I use for storage. Um, I saved those and I put those in there. This is a playing card, uh, notepad paper that I had. So just, just, you know, 
bunches of stuff. And I, I don't even know why I saved that, but I thought it was cute. So I backed it with some pattern paper and then I put it in there. This was a printout that I got from somewhere and I honestly can't even remember now. Like this book was made a really, really long time ago. And like I said, the only thing I did was change the binding and add some um, scraps of the paper that I had left over from this project. So I wanted to kind of incorporate that. So um, that's what that's what I used to make. And then I started making this, the one that Christina showed. So then I had some fun, um, not this one. Um, the next one that I did was is this one. And basically it's a journal that I put together with the tea dyed papers and I had it sitting in my stash of things to do for a while, a long while. And I decided, because I had started seeing some videos that um, I was gonna go ahead and um, start working on this one. So, um, Treasure Books, so that is another YouTube channel and I'm gonna have a link below. Um, she kind of got me, um, along with Christina, reintroduced into wanting to make this. So, I had this paper that I got from Hobby Lobby and I put my um, tea dyed papers in it, but I hadn't done anything with it. So I just decided to, um, you know, it was time to do that. So what I did was, um, I had this paper clip and I'm going to try and find the tutorial that I got this from, but it, um, basically it was a paper clip I made for a swap and it was like my practice clip. So I kept that one and, um, decided to use that in my book. And actually I think I just undid it because I used it also on this side to, um, hold some things together. Um, and then I just went to town. So like I made these pockets. Um, these are by Treasure Books. So the little four uh, panel pocket and I just added a bunch of stamps or uh, tags to it. Um, I added some um, pom-pom um, embellishments too. I have a file of papers, scrap of papers that I kept um, the ones that come out with like a collage of tags or whatever, and then I can cut them apart. Well, in that, I had these like acetate butterflies that I had run through my Xyron sticker machine and made stickers out of them. So I just used some of that. Um, here, just a random bunch of ephemera that I had. And honestly, I can't even remember where it's from. Um, but I put that, layered it with a doily that I had done. So I just wanted to do a real quick run through of this and just show you. Um, I have also like a file of papers that I had um, back when I made my very first one um, that I've never used. So I decided it was time. Got my washi tape out, my fancy little paper clips that I've been saving and not doing anything with. Just made some um, random um, pages and I think it turned out really cute. This was a little um, file folder thing that I got. I, I think this was K and Company and I put it together and sewn it as a book and then I put it in a drawer and I never used it. So I decided to put it in here. It has some note papers in here. So this would be a great place for journaling. Added some Tim Holtz things, um, you know, to create tabs for it. So I put that in there, um, made this little ruffle strip um, and treasure books. I also saw the um, tutorial for that. Now she had sewn it. Um, this one I just used score tape on and put the ribbon over top of it and I thought it turned out really cute and it was an old strip of matte paper that I had. Random stickers left over from projects um, in here. Um, I have this old Western Union um, paper and then I also have like a ton of these calendar pages that I never used and I thought well that would be kind of cute to stick in here as well so I just created pockets. Um, this postcard I got from a swap, um, I believe Elsa gave me that, so I decided to use this um, in here, and um, you can write on the back of that. I tea dyed these. Um, I used uh, rub-ons, and I had them in my stash for years. I had no idea that they would even still work, but they did. It was really fun. Um, I had these paper clips, Seven Gypsies, that had little charms on them, so I added those. This was a bookmark I made a really long time ago, and I thought, well... That's perfect for the book. So you can kind of see what I did here. I just did some random stuff. Now this folder here, I got the idea from that from, and I will tell you in just a second, the Book Vandal on YouTube, and I'll put a link to that. Um, she made this really, really super cute file folder insert for a journal. So I just went ahead and made one of those. I had some um, leftover papers and put 
um, this big square doily that I had in there. So um, you have that kind of like in the middle and it's held together with this cute little bow. And um, it just makes a kind of a nice little insert. And then, um, so if you uh, notice, um, I did sew the papers in my journal with my sewing machine, but I added a ribbon it down the middle of it to tie this piece in. And you could actually put some stuff underneath there if you wanted to. Um, again, another one of those pockets full of tags and whatnot that I had, and I just layered some decorations on top that I had. I think these were from Recollections in one of those um, like canning jars that they had full of ephemera. I collected those, never did anything with them. This is a, an envelope idea, and I believe this one's also from Treasure Books. I'll have to make sure of that. But that's a nice little journaling spot there and it folds up, and this was just an old piece of paper I had in my scrap stash that I hadn't used. A Seven Gypsies pocket, corner pocket. Um, I used this cork tag and this envelope here, and I glued them together to make a pocket for things behind it, and I just had like this die cut, and then this piece of paper that I took out of another journal from a project I did a long time ago that I had kept, and I just decided that that fit pretty pretty good in there. Um, random stickers that I had. So um, just wanted to show you this is an envelope here, a regular old envelope. And I made a little um, card with a little uh, pocket in it to put inside of that. So that's a nice little tag. So you can kind of get the gist um, of this. This is a in one of the ephemera kits I had in my stash. Um, it says remember, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a there's a slide um, picture in there um, that's really kind of cute. So I just added that in there. These were seven gypsies file folders. I just tucked those in there. So yeah, um, I'm trying to make this really quick because um, <laughs> there's a lot and I, I got two other things I want to show you real quick. So um, this was a piece of fabric that I got in an artsy ephemera pack and I just folded it over. I glued it down and then I added the, the uh, flower and the button and then that made a nice little um, pocket space. Um, this was a little weird tag that I had and I thought, well, it would fit perfect on a paper clip, so that's what I did with it. I tea dyed these um, bookkeeping papers. This was a Tim Holtz picture that I just added um, with vintage photo, like linen tape that I had in my stash that I've had for a long time and just made a flip up with that. Um, more rub-ons. Those actually, I can't believe they're so old and they actually worked. This one, I just, I kept the page kind of simple, and then I just put this under the paper clip, and if I can keep the paper clip on the page. This was um, a Tim Holtz charm. It says admit one, that I just added a jump ring and then put the, put it on the paper clip, and I just thought it was cute. And these little teeny tiny wee envelopes I got into in an envelope pack, and I had these little teeny tiny tag leftovers from a design team package that I got that I thought fit perfect in there. So anyways, so this is this is the first one. So I got like really excited. I just finished this like, I don't know, a week ago maybe. And then um, I decided to make another one and I finished this one today. So today, this one um, is a uh, Seven Gypsies um, kit that I bought a hundred years ago. And I um, never did anything with it. So I decided to do it. It's a sewn in, um, signature book so I went ahead and did that so the pages actually came with the book and I just distressed them with um, distress ink to age them up a little bit on the front here was an art C um, doily and I made this little book plate now the book plate idea also came from treasure books I did not do it exactly how she did it she wraps her chipboard um, base behind it. I didn't do that. I just layered the doily, some wood grain paper, um, little burlap, little lace. And then I had this um, label plate that I don't even know where I got it. And then I put another little piece of wood grain in here so you could put a title here. So I got that idea as well. And again, I'm going to link all this stuff so you can see kind of where I got my um, ideas and inspiration. Um, this is mostly seven gypsy stuff. I have a whole bin full of seven gypsy stuff and haven't used it. Some of this stuff is pretty darn old. Um, the stickers, the um, rub-ons here, 
but um, there's a couple things here. I did the corner pocket that Seven Gypsies had, and I had this bag in my stash, and so I just distressed it and wrinkled it, put some tags in it, and then I put one of the die cuts here and then made that into a pocket as well and um, just tuck that in there. Um, this page, um, these were K and Company. You guys remember K and Company? And they haven't been around for a while. At least I haven't seen them around for a while. Um, they used to have some ephemera packs um, called, was it K and Company? I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Hold on. Life's Journey. I thought that was K and Company. I'll have to double check, but I, I'm pretty sure it was. Life's Journey. So they had some ephemera stuff that I bought and I used um, a long time ago. Um, but um, I just put that on the page and then used a rub on on top and then just tuck some tags under here. And this um, border strip, again, from Treasure Books, um, I went ahead and just put it crooked. I used the other piece of it on a different page and I had this little piece left over and I just put it crooked, made it into a pocket and then put these um, seven gypsies tags behind it. This page I left kind of blank. There's a couple pages that I did that. So you have full page for journaling. One little teeny tiny pocket, um, four pocket pocket made out of a, a six by six piece of paper from seven gypsies. So that's what I did there. And I just tucked a whole bunch of tags in there. Um, bingo card from K and company, um, did it on three sides and made it so that it's a, um, pocket for a tag. Let's see if I can get it back in there. It's kind of tight. Um, there we go. Um, so, and you can see, I just sewn the signatures in with a pamphlet stitch real easy. Um, some, uh, distressed, um, craft doilies that I had. And I had these Tim Holtz gem clips that I decided to use. Um, just makes cute little tuck spot there. Um, again, another page. Um, this was from a six by six pad from Seven Gypsies that I just tore and then inked and then put it on there. Um, just a piece of old um, ribbon in my um, stash that I used. I used this piece. This was a ephemera piece from the life's journey that I just put at the top. And then because this was kind of an envelope themed and I put tags in here, um, again, from Life's Journey, I backed them on paper so that you could have a journaling spot. Um, I thought that kind of the male theme was um, pretty cute. And there's a there's also a tuck spot back here, so you could put some back here. And then you could put some in here if you wanted to. Um, here's that other piece that I used to make a belly band. And um, this is actually from Paper Loft that I got on at one of my conventions. And um, I just tore it and inked it and put it in there. This is an uh, envelope that I made. I had these um, policy envelopes and all I did was fold it to the height that I wanted here and put a little um, put a little rub on there and then um, just put some stuff in here. This is a piece of the paper that came with the kit for the book that I didn't use the way I was supposed to use it. Um, but I just folded it up in thirds and then on the back I took the bottom half of that 12 by 12 and I ripped them and then put it on the back. So you had some cute little journaling spots on the back because the back was completely white. So I just thought that was kind of a cute way of um, using that paper for that. So that goes in here. And then um, I told you that I folded the envelope up. And so I did and made a pocket out of it. And then I just added some paper and put some tags in there and then decorated that up. So that's a nice little surprise too when you take it out. It doesn't look like much here, but when you take it out, there's a whole bunch going on. Um, this was the Tim Holtz uh, wax paper roll stuff that I had in my stash that I'd never used. And I just whacked off a piece of that. And I made one of those four pocket deals and I just put a whole bunch of tags in there. And, um, uh oh, that one's stuck. Oh, great. Well, I'm going to have to fix that. But you can see that the tags will <laughs> hopefully will come out. I'm going to have to play with that one. And then I put this little tag here, and it also has a tuck spot here. Um, here is a glassine envelope, and I. There is a tutorial, again, by Treasure Books, where she shows how to make these little um, glassine envelopes. And let's see, I have one example here that I can show you. Um, so it's just a nice little thing. You can use um, glassine, you can use vellum, you could use um, parchment paper, whatever you want, but you know, some kind of thin type material is what she used. I had some glassine paper from um, Tim Holtz in my stash, so I used it, but I also added another gusset into it. So the bottom is, you know, flush. It's not like a paper bag. Um, 
you know, like a lunch sack, but it does have a little bit of a gusset, so you can put um, quite a few things in here. And then I tea dyed that ledger paper and then just stuck it behind there. Um, this was this is actually new. I just did I did just buy this not the other day, but um, Tim Holtz charms that I got, and I thought that would be really kind of a cute little um, addition to the page. Um, going forward, here's another little envelope with a little card inside and some tags behind it. I adhered this paper to the page and then um, left it so that you could tuck other things underneath it if you wanted to. And then on the back side, instead of adhering the paper, I just um, took it so you could pull it out and you could journal on that. This is adhered to the page. Um, more of that pom-pom ruffle, I kind of liked it. Uh, made this cute little pocket, just a simple little pocket, um, and put some tags in there. And then it's also open behind for other things. Another paper that I just layered on top. This was one of those Life's Journey tags, and it was really um, cute, but I wanted to kind of like crumple it up and use it. And so I backed it with paper, and then I just kind of folded it random um, so it wasn't even at all, and then just tucked it under there so it can be removed. Um, this paper is adhered on, but these two can pop out for tags. Um, another little envelope here with more tags in it. Um, let's see what else. More Seven Gypsies paper adhered. Um, I don't know where I got this. It looks like a postcard. It's not really a postcard because um, there's nothing really on the back. But I had that and I thought that would be cute with the adventure page here. Um, another glassine envelope. And this just has a couple tags in it that I tucked back there. This was a piece of paper that I just ripped and um, inked and then just made a little corner pocket pretty easy and then used some seven gypsies tags and some fibers and things. Um, this page, um, this came from a swap and I can't remember which swap. I wish I could remember. Um, I saved it because the tissue paper was so pretty. Um, and if I remember, I will give a shout out. I think CC gave it to me and if that's true, thank you CC. I love it. Um, but um, I kept it because it was really pretty and I just layered that on the page and glued it down and it just made a really cute page. This is another one of those little four pocket pockets and um, I made it out of a piece of six by six paper so it gets you know kind of cute and, and tiny and uh, put a little lace on there too. Um, more fibers, another page here. Here's another one of those pockets that I made with the gussets. And then behind it is one of these fold-out envelopes that you could put some journaling on. So I did that. That's from Treasure Books as well. Um, this is just a paper clip clipping a bunch of tags on here and here. And then this page is adhered down. So this is, this is um, I guess, becoming an obsession with me. And so much so, and I got so many ideas that I got yet another idea. And um, I want to show you that. And this is the last thing I'm going to show you. So... Um, I was looking last night, actually, not last night, a couple nights ago, and um, Liz the Paper Project did a video back in um, April of, of 2019 where she made um, like a reference book kind of thing for, for ideas and things that she had for uh, her journals. And she, you know, it gave me the idea, yeah, I need to do this. So um, I made a binder out of um, some cardstock and I just wrapped it traditional and then I had this elastic that I put in there and then I just did like a traveler's notebook kind of notebook and so what I'm gonna do what she did was if when she gets ideas um, she makes like the models which I do a lot I make a lot of models before I actually make a project just to you know kind of make sure I'm doing it right and um, then she puts it in this book and then she puts down where she got the ideas and whatnot um, so that she also has a reference to not only what the project is and how to make it, but who made it and where it came from. So I started one, and I've been working on this as well because I've had like all these bits and pieces of papers and models and things, and I just kind of got everything put together. So um, I just wanted to share this with you. Um, so like on the back of this tag, so she, Liz the Paper Project, she makes these cute little tags um, with ribbons and buttons with the safety pin here, with the bulb pin. So um, I just made one as a, um, an idea for another project and then um, put the lice on here because that's a, another idea. Torn paper to make pockets, you know, that kind of thing. So I just, um, here's my notes and my 
um, directions for how to make one of these pockets and then I actually made the pocket and put it on the page. Um, so I have the directions uh, to, to these projects and who did it as well so I can go back and look at the videos if I wanted to. So um, I just kind of threw a bunch of stuff in here. I've got stuff from, um, like I said, Treasure Book, um, Liz the Paper Project, um, this one, um, I got the idea from um, String and Scissors. I saw a video about doing tissue paper um, tags and stuff, and so I made one, and it turned out so good, I used that on the page that I just showed you. Um, Wendy's Journal Adventures, I got a thing from her. There's just all kinds of different things um, that I put in here. What to do with paper clips, how to embellish them, and I had some of these made already, and I just put them in here. So now I have some inspiration. If I get stuck while I'm making a book, I can just go through this and um, get some ideas. Um, here's one of those strips, one of the first ones I made. Um, this was another idea. So there was one by Treasure Books and then there was one by um, Roxy Creations by Rachel. Um, for doing belly bands and stuff. And so she takes papers and she sews everything together. So I just got some papers and some ephemera and some stuff and I sewed those together. So I did that. So this is treasure books here. That one um, is the uh, kind of ruffled thing. And um, she sewed hers, but I used um, score tape and fiber on mine. Um, here's a tag pocket idea that I came across. Um, you know, just a flip page idea. So you get the gist of, um, here's that folder, that insert folder that um, I just showed you in the other book. So I made an example and put it in here. So you can see I started working on it. I got a lot of ways to go. Here's, here's the glassine pockets Treasure Books did and then my idea with the extra gusset. So I got a sample of that. Um, oh, and this is the book plate. So remember on that one book, I did the book plate and I told you that she backs hers, um, with chipboard and I did not do that. I just used the pattern paper, but you can get the gist of, um, the difference, um, between the two. So I made a sample and then how to hook two envelopes together with a doily, um, so that you get the full envelope. This, I found it somewhere. I don't even know where I got it. Um, but I got the idea to, maybe crochet around some sort of a ephemera piece if it was strong enough. And um, so I put that in there as an idea. Tea dyeing papers. These are samples of the tea dyeing that I did and then where I got the tutorial from Mrs. Cog. Um, so there you go. That's um, my idea. This easy, oh, this easy folder here. Um, paper um, Palia on Instagram, I saw it. And she kind of had a video on how to do that. Um, I will link... You know, I'll have a, a list of stuff um, so that you guys can look at these if you want. But anyways, I just wanted to share with you what I've been doing. Um, again, um, this, this one here was the one I started with, and I made this a long time ago. I altered it a little bit by adding the tea dyed papers um, recently. Um, and then Christina Aubin's, um tutorial that I did um, that's kind of really got me going um, with the tea dye papers and all that stuff so um, and then out of that came <laughs> all the rest of this so I have I've been busy so anyways um thanks for watching I was trying to make this kind of a quick video um, probably didn't go as quick as I thought but hey thanks for watching and have a good day talk to you later bye bye